Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ralphie from Ralphie Joe's Nails and although I know I haven't posted in a very long time, I decided to start posting again. So this is my new and improved video <laughs> where I actually do a voiceover. Um, so today I'm gonna do a really nice cherry blossom set of nails out of crystals uh, and I really hope you will like it. So I've got three tips here and I'm gonna paint them all with a light blue shade which I've already pre-mixed from the Get Nail by Laura McBride blue and white gel paint. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint two layers of this. You're gonna do th two thin coats just in case, um, just to avoid any kind of um, wrinkling or shrinkage or whatever. This is all cured now and now I'm gonna go in with my second coat and again a very thin coat and this is just to make sure everything is nice and um, pigmented we don't have any spots that look a bit weird so there you go this gel paint has a nice self-leveling um, quality so that's just gonna do the job for you so I'm gonna cure this now and of course me being me I mixed way too much paint like look at that I need to put this away <laughs> so now I'm gonna go in with the brown gel paint I've got it already on my palette and the 10 millimeter liner brush because this one's gonna be longer and it's gonna be better for little lines. So just load my brush up, turn it around, and then starting from this corner, the one that we've just done, I'm gonna go with a very thick brine. Right, now that that's done, we've put some little branches there. I am going to put this for a full cure and I'll be back. Those are curing. I've got here Candy Kisses and Innocence, uh, both from the core collection. And I'm gonna put some on my little palette, not a lot. And I'll also take out my All About the Base, base coat, and my little 5mm brush. So this is like a tiny brush. Base on, on it, if I can get this open. So just pop that all over and then using my little brush 
I am gonna start dropping little dots of the pink everywhere especially like further away from the um, from the branches and you're gonna see that this base coat is gonna spread them out and then go again with a bit of white and once again just dropping in little dots here and there just to give a bit more dimension to the background this is gonna be they're gonna be like in the back if that makes sense just so it's not only the ones that we uh, are gonna make out of crystals it's gonna be other little designs as well in the background So you can see now that it's already like starting to have some kind of background in there, a bit of variation. And now we're gonna let that spread as much as possible and we're gonna go to the next tip. bit of a mistake where this little branch is going down and then this one's going so they don't really match up but I'm gonna cover this with little crystals so that's fine it's all right okay so we reached the point where we have to add the crystals to make the actual cherry blossoms so I've got here the little uh, zodiac neon bright pink crystals in different sizes so I swear to god the camera doesn't do them justice they're so bright pink they are amazing and then I've got here some pearls both of them well actually all the crystals and caviar beads are going to be from crystal parade and the camera can't even pick up they are so amazing the little pearls and then I've got here forest green caviar beads brown caviar beads which you're going to see what I'm going to do in, with in a minute. What I'm going to do with them in a minute. Oh, never mind. I can't talk. And then I've got here some rose gold caviar beads as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my caviar beads with my gem buddy. So I've got, I'm going to apply all of the crystals with the get nailed gem buddy. So the way I'm going to mix my my caviar beads with the gem body is I'm going to open up the caviar bead pot very gently because you do not want to spill anything. But look at that. That's a lovely green. And I'm not going to need too many of these because this is just going to act like a little accent, like just to, to break out the pink and white and blue and brown and whatever. I'm going to add another color. So I'm, I've got here a little brush. And I'm gonna pick up a small amount of gem body into the caviar beads onto the little um, palette and then I think I'm gonna put a bit more and there you go you just cover them up you mix them up basically and cover them up in that gem body and it's so so gorgeous I love them 
Honestly, this color is so amazing. It reminds me of Christmas. But we can't talk about Christmas because it's spring. So I'm going to do that with all the colors and I'm going to make little puddles of crystal caviar beads. And uh, I'll be back. I mixed up all my colors. And I am going to go in now with some Gem Buddy and apply it all over the nail because it just makes my life so much easier. So just a thin layer all over the nail. Make sure you cover everything. And now with my crystal picker upper, I'm gonna go in with my little crystals and my pearls and my caviar beads and I'm gonna start placing them on the nail. So I'm gonna use these as the middle of my flowers. So I'm gonna do one in the center and then I'm gonna place pearls around it. And then with the rose gold caviar beads, I'm gonna place these in between like where where the little um, crystals and uh, pearls meet and I'm gonna place them above everything so it has that nice 3D effect There you go, that's one done, and I'm going to go ahead and do all of them. ahead and I finished the flowers off camera and now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do a little flower bud because these are obviously not all of them are open you know we have to give them a story so I've placed a little pearl here and now with a few of the caviar beads Actually, maybe just one. There you go, we've got like a little flower bud. And then I'm gonna do another one there. And this is just to fill up a little bit of space but do not bring any more bulk. So I'm gonna do a couple more of these wherever I can find the space for them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some green caviar beads 
I'm just gonna place them here and there about three four because we don't want a leaf we want a little leaf bud so they're gonna be tiny uh, because they're not developed yet so I'm gonna pop that in and this is just so you know we've got a little color, color variation here and there There you go. And now still without curing, I'm gonna take some of my brown caviar beads and put them on the actual branch. Because I don't want the branch to look flat. So I finished placing the crystals and the pearls and everything on all of them and they are extremely shiny. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Material Girl, which is the matte top coat, and again with the 5mm liner brush. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm gonna go in Once you've applied it everywhere, go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And there you have it. All of them are finished. The camera can't even focus on them. They're so, so pretty. And you can see that the matte top coat gave that background a nice blurred design. So it really helped with pushing 
those um, splotches that we made to push them back so that they uh, they look like you know they're on the other side of the branch or uh, further back in the tree so it gave it a, like a 3d effect and there you go I really hope you enjoyed this video and I am happy to be back on YouTube <laughs> um, and please like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next video bye